updates on the story now. Our reporter Gerard Pretorius joins us from our studios in Pretoria. So Gerard, just for clarity's sake, in 2015, uh, it was in fact up to individual churches, individual church councils, uh, to decide whether they would recognize a gay marriage or not. That was according to the decision made by the Dutch Reformed Church at the time. That is correct, Michelle. Um, at the time, that decision was made, and as the judgment reads now, that is also still the case, that individual churches will still have that right, as per the 2015 decision, whether they do want um, gay people um, that will serve on, on various church, um, church boards. So, uh, the 2016 decision by the Dutch Reformed Church, it outlawed the acceptance of same-sex marriage. So, basically... Uh, from my understanding of what they decided in 2016 was that they wouldn't perform gay marriages in the Dutch Reformed Church, but it would still be recognized. Is that right? Well, basically, as, as I understand it, that no same-sex marriages will be recognized at all and it won't be performed. Um, and that people will, would, would try and perform those same-sex marriages would eventually um, be reprimanded. That is as the decision um, of 2016. The decision currently that we have sets that decision aside um, completely. There were actually two decisions made. There, were a deci there was a decision made in 2015 as, uh, as general task team that was appointed that uh, set aside the decision of uh, 2015, earlier 2015, on the syn uh, synod, um, synod meeting. Then in 2015, after the general task team came there, then it was, it was said that, it's, that this decision of 2015 is set aside. And then subsequently in the 2016 general synod meeting, it was uh, adopted and said this is now what will happen from now on in the Dutch Reformed Church. So, Herod, in terms of... Uh gay people being ministers in the church only if they are celibate. That was the decision as well uh, from the Dutch Reformed Church. What does this uh, ruling by the North Gauteng High Court say about that? Well, Generally, the implication of this judgment will mean that uh, they do not have to be celibate anymore. Obviously, um, speaking to some of the church leaders that were there, they said that they will study the judgment. But it and and, and some of the people that advocated this in 2015 says that same-sex uh, relationships are now allowed even within the ministers, but it will obviously have to be within the the faith religion um, of the the Christian the Christian faith religion in, uh, in, in terms of love and in faith in the Lord. So Herat, you said that uh, the church itself saying it will uh, study the judgment, I suppose uh, whether or not they will take it on appeal is yet to be decided. It is uh, still to be decided. Um, what one of the church leaders have told me, uh, or has told me, is that they, they, will, they will obviously study the judgment, but they still do stand by their decision of 2016 that same-sex marriages um, and same-sex relationships, are, they're not recognized within the church. But obviously studying the judgment, maybe there could be appeal. Um, we are not sure, but like they said, they will study the judgment. All right, well, thanks very much for that update. Our reporter, Gerard Pretorius, live to us there from our Pretoria studios. It is our breaking news story uh, this hour. The North Gauteng High Court setting aside the Dutch Reformed Church's decision on gay marriages.